Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Code channel. This is episode 2 of the JavaScript tutorial series. In this video we will be going over if, else if, and else statements. So we still have our code of the previous video. And we can just remove this stuff because we don't really need it anymore. And in this video, I will be going over pretty much how to make if statements, but also how to use certain uh, operators that indicate whether or not it should be ran or not. Before we can make our if statement, we first need to make a function. If you don't know how to make a function, I really advise you to go back to the previous episode to see how you should do that. So we are going to write a function and we're gonna say um, is positive for a name is positive let me spell and it takes in a number so to write an if statement we say if and then we put two parentheses and inside of these parentheses we can put a uh, statement so it basically gonna ask if this is true then you gotta execute the code that's inside of our code block so first we need to say what we want to be true. So if number is greater than zero, we want to uh, say console.log, then we get number is greater than zero. So right now we uh, get the number, and if number is greater than zero, we execute it part of the code. So you can actually check which operators there are in JavaScript by going to the Mozilla Developers Network, which is uh, MDN. And you can find um, a whole lot of stuff on there. You can just type in MDN and then what you want to know something about. So there are, um, I'm on this page about operators and you can see that there are um, a couple of operators here and then a more down here. So the first few are the less operator which is a um, which is this character so if something that is here is less than this then if it's true you will execute it if not it would return false the greater operator so again if what is here in this uh, to the left of it is greater than what's at the right of it it will return true if it's not it will return false so then there's the less than or equal operator, which means that it will check if it's less or equal. And for the other one, it's greater or equal. It would turn true, otherwise it will return false. And then there's um, also the uh, equality operators. So if you have two, equals, uh, two equal characters, it will be an equality operator which means that it's almost the same but not quite. I will go more into detail about it later. Now there's the uh, inequality operator, which is an exclamation mark with an equal sign, which basically does the opposite. So instead of um, checking if it's equal, you will check if it's not equal. Then there's the identity operator, which will check if it's exactly the same. It can't... Uh, even be the slightest bit different. And then there's the non-identity operator, which means that it will check if it's not the same at all in any kind of way. All these kind of things will return a boolean, which is basically true or false. If it's true, you will execute something, or if it's false, you may not execute it. This is really useful stuff to know, so let me show you how to use it. So back in our code, we now have if number is greater than zero. So this will return true if the number is, for instance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. On and on and on. Since number is greater than 0. But if we want to check if it's either 0 or greater, we could put an equal sign after it. We could say is greater or greater than or equal to 0. So if we run this, first we need to call the function. 
So if we put in a number like 5, we would see 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So if we change this to minus 5, we will see that nothing will happen since we don't execute something when the statement is false. So now we can add another statement, for instance, else if this statement is true, so we can run, um, so if this is false, we will check if not this is true, then check if number is equal to minus 5. If that's the case, we'll say console.log um, the number is minus 5. So if we do this, we'll see the number is minus 5. Since if this first statement is false, we'll check if this statement is true. If that's the case, we'll execute this. Now if we re remove the, num the minus, so we just check 5, we'll see that 5 is greater than or equal to 0. And we actually don't execute this stuff since it's an else statement. Now, at least we can do an else statement, which means that if nothing else is true, we can just execute this. So we can say console.log the number is negative and not minus 5. So right now you see 5 is greater than or equal to 0. But if we do minus 5, we would see the number is minus 5. So if we do minus 25, we would see the number is negative and not minus 5. So you can stack these up so we can even add more statements. So else if uh, number is equal to minus 25, we want to um, say console.log the number is minus 25. And if we check this, the number is minus 25. So you can stack the else if statements on and on and on, and we just keep going. And this is basically how we uh, stack them. But you don't actually have to use else if statements, you can just remove them and have an else statement. So if we have this setup, we will have if number is greater or equal to zero, we will say number is greater or equal to zero. If not, the number is negative. So this will just output the number is negative. So this is basically it for the second episode. We learn how to make if, else and else if statements. If you aren't sure on something specific, just join our Discord server and anybody that can help will help you out. You can also check out the Mozilla Developer Network documentation to see about certain things that you might want to know a bit more about. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next episode.